I think we're live, so I'm going to just start today. Hi, how are you today? Um, I'm coming to you today to talk about uh, creating habits. And um, it's something that we all really struggle with, especially when it's a habit uh, that is about self-care and eating a bit healthier and maybe adding in some exercise into your life. Um, we all find a uh, difficulty in finding that time for that. So um, I'll just get started um, here. Why do we struggle to get started building healthy habits for ourselves? We know how to get in shape, eat less, move more. We know how to exercise, get up, walk, do some yoga or lift some weights. We know how to eat uh, healthy and add in vegetables, uh, take out sh sugar from our diet, watch portion sizes, but somehow we can't bring ourselves to do it. The things that sabotage us are simple, really. The minute you tell your brain that you're going to start restricting what you eat, it goes into survival mode and craves everything. Life gets in the way and we slip back into our old patterns. We don't arm ourselves with the right tools to keep going. Or we try to do it all far too quickly and make it difficult for ourselves. If you're coming at this from ground zero, and most of us are, then you're setting yourselves up to fail at all of it. Don't forget it probably took years to get to where you are now. I'm not saying it'll take years to reverse it, but it'll definitely take more than five minutes. Stop looking in the mirror to see if you've lost your muffin top yet. It's only been two weeks. Also, let's be honest, it's hard. I'd much rather be in my bed dreaming about sitting at a bar on a desert island than pounding the pavement at quarter past five in the morning. But I know that after my walk, I'll feel much better than if I had stayed in bed. Also, my body will thank me for it. So... Step one, know your big why. It's not enough to think that taking time to exercise most days is something that you should be doing. If you're getting up early after years of sleeping till five to eight and then running out the door with a banana in one hand and a toothbrush in the other and making a mad dash for the bus without knowing your why, then you're screwed. When you have a reason with emotion behind it, you're more likely to want to see it through. So, when you answer the question, why do I want to do this? Then again, ask why to the answer. Keep asking until the answer that you have feels real and deep with emotion behind it. If you've read Charles Duhigg's The Power of Habit, and you should, you will know there are three parts to forming a habit. The cue, the action, the reward for the action to take to take hold habits you first sorry to break old habits you first need to know uh, your cues or your triggers for instance it's Friday night seven o'clock trigger pour a red wine action I feel relaxed reward if I had to break that habit, I would need to have a different action after the trigger. One that also gives me a reward. Maybe I turn on my favourite show. Or instead of, um, I might have a glass of kombucha or kefir. And I get to enjoy the thought of being healthy instead. Now, what if you want to build the habit of walking every morning before work? The alarm goes on Monday at 6 o'clock, trigger. You get up, get dressed, put on your walking shoes that you've left at the door, action. You get back and feel refreshed and ready for the day. Reward. So build in some triggers for your habits. Now, for working on the actions. For bad habits, you need to make it as hard as possible to get the action. Unplug the TV. Throw out the junk food. Remove social media apps from your phone. For good habits, it's the opposite. Make it super easy. Have your smoothie ingredients pre-prepped in a bag in the freezer or have your walking shoes by the door. Keep um, a water bottle on your desk, maybe. Now the reward. 
to replace bad habits, you need to be able to understand what the reward you're getting does for you. Do you drink to block out a bad day or maybe eat sugar loaded treats because you're bored? Do you watch TV endlessly because you're lonely? Let's look at the bad day. Maybe you could chat to a friend instead or go for a brisk walk, take a bath, allow yourself to read 10 pages of your favorite book maybe. It kind of works the same for building good habits. Um, when I walk in the morning, I come back and make um, a green tea and I have three Brazil nuts, which is my selenium for the day, and a piece of organic crystallized ginger. And that's my reward. Maybe yours is to have a healthy smoothie. Whatever your whatever is your thing, but whatever you do, don't reward your walk with maybe a piece of cake. You'll be creating one more bad habit for yourself. You could reward walking all month with maybe a new pair of shoes or um, your healthy food prep with some new food prep containers. I mean, who doesn't love a bit of container organisation? It's my version of uh, pretty notebooks everywhere. Not that I don't have heaps of those lying about anyway. If you can get some accountability, a buddy to walk with you or um, do some f food prep with a group maybe, someone to push you out of bed at six o'clock, you could build some um, bad consequences into not doing the habit maybe. I'm just uh, letting my guilt drive me nuts. But what if you told yourself if you don't walk today, then you have to get up early on Sunday and do it instead. That might make you think twice about missing it. I've got to that lovely place now that I, if I miss a day that I, I don't feel guilty. I, I know I'm consistent with my walks and with my exercise um, so that it's not going to make a difference. So that's reward in itself. One very important thing, don't try to build a habit that you really don't enjoy or don't want to do. You'll never achieve it. Choose um, something that you quite like doing. I've always walked and hiked and I, I really do enjoy it, but um, it's my time to be present and set my intention for the day. I wasn't so fussed on weights, but I really wanted to feel strong and build, um, and, and build up my muscles, and that was my driver. If you hate swimming, then maybe cycle, whatever piques your interest a little. If there is something you have to do and you hate it, cleaning comes to mind. Um, do something you enjoy while you do it. Like So when I'm cleaning, I, I listen to audio books and I've listened to more books this year than I have in maybe the last five years. I haven't had time for a lot of time for reading um, lately. So um, to listen to some of the books I've been really looking forward to reading um, for a long time is quite good including The Power of Habit, which has been sitting on my bookshelf for, uh, in physical form for, for what seems like forever. What if you could f watch maybe your favourite Netflix series while on a treadmill or an exercise cycle? How much quicker um, the time would go for you? So, so that's it for today. Would love to know in the comments which habits you're going to work on breaking or building into your routine. I'll um, see you in the calf.